Hello guys, Wade Car Santas, aka Happy Car 95, and I'm gonna do like a picture or a photo compilation of my NASCAR Hall of Fame trip to Charlotte. So it was last Wednesday when I went to that museum, and I really had a great time and learned a lot. And my bet, the best part about it was the pit crew simulation and the driving part so I kinda think I did okay on those parts but let's begin looking at the pictures that I took so here they are so while I was cruising around in my vehicle I realized that in my left I saw the NASCAR Hall of Fame so I took the whole family along with my sister, my two nieces, and my mom. So I I can just say that um, Charlotte was a great place, and I've always wanted to be in the downtown area to view this gorgeous and more eye eye catching experience, you know. And that's what it takes to go to the place for your dreams, you know. So that's all I have to say on that part. So for this thumbnail title, I named it Making Our Way to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. So as you can see in those plexi, they're not plexi windows, but those, you know, dark tinted ones, you can rarely see any Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson cars, but you'll be able to see the Richard Petty ones. Up close, so all I can say is they were so gorgeous. <laughs> That's all I can say in that part, but some of them are vintage and some of them are more modern than you ever seen. So if you're like born in the 1980s or 90s, you probably know you've seen these cars on the track so and then more of Richard Petty's race cars you know he is the king of NASCAR you know and basically a lot of it has to do with the credit that the NASCAR Hall of Fame was built in the first place because he can tell you a good story and Never put a good man down. So let's go to the next part. So after I saw all those cars outside, that not outside but inside the glory road portion, but right when we entered the Hall of Fame, I registered my my name and got most of my hard cards with me so I'm able to like actually look at the interactive tour features in it and actually get a chance to see all the race cars up close so sorry guys <laughs> Yeah, disregard what it did. So, so back to that. Back to my point. It says, "Do you want to see yourself on the big screen?" And I said, "Yes." I'll put my name, Carl, on there, and I put my favorite Cup driver, Kyle Larson, even though Jeff Gordon was my first. So, let's move on. So here is. A race car I'm quite familiar with, and this is Terry Labonte's 1997, I think, or 1998 Kellogg Chevrolet. And it's the five car that I thought Kyle Larson would drive, but I guess Rick Kendrick didn't have enough money to lend hand to the companies he used to sign sign to his race team. So, yeah, you can. 
you can just see the bib biography info of that car and it says the difference maker so he was actually in the Hall of Fame so and for this one one of my favorite NASCAR drivers of all time Jeff Gordon and right when I saw it it is the 1997 DuPont Chevrolet and it's right next to Jimmy Johnson's 2016 Lowe's Chevrolet and when those two teammates were tangling together they had good rivalries I'm telling you I mean in the racetrack off the racetrack I mean they were best buds I'm telling you and then here are Jimmy Johnson's championship winning cars his first championship and his seventh championship or his last or by vice versa so. <sighs> what can I say they had to be in the glory road of cars especially the Hall of Fame drivers being in the glory road and basically I just when I was in the second floor of this NASCAR Hall of Fame Museum I mean I tried to take some good angles of it and um, I tried to use the lighting so most of the pictures I took weren't that dark so yeah I'm not much of a photographer to be honest so yeah did the best I could but that's what you'll get when you go to NASCAR Hall of Fame you know wanting to take those best race cars so moving around along right when Jeff Gordon won his fourth championship 2001 the one that preceded him was Tony Stewart and he, here's a picture of his first championship race car the 2002 Home Depot why did I push Chevy? Pontiac <laughs> oh come on man there it is got it all fixed so Tony Stewart did drive for the coach Joe Gibbs from 1999 to 2008 and it wasn't that great that he would have wanted to race for the coach for a long time but had to wanted to drive for his own team so that's all it took to actually get what he wanted and some I do have plenty of pictures and videos to upload later today and if you want to keep up and subscribe for more content click on that like or the bell button if you want to subscribe for more content get the thumbs up button if you want to like like my post and then sh share a comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome so I make a happy Corona 5 let me take my time compiling this video presentation from that I made on my PowerPoint so sit back relax and hopefully you enjoy all my videos so this is part one so I will be doing these projects all week hopefully if I'm not busy so I make a cap on i night five. Y'all have a great day and peace out. Hi Gabby. Hello guys. This is the NASCAR Hall of Fame. So I make a cap car on i five. When we go inside the museum, everything will be right there. All the race cars. Bye. Florida.
the high rise fans. Finally got the Nats Hall of Fame. A lot of fun. A lot of good memories. We're about to go inside and hope to have some fun. So well, guys, we take a uh, car in that car, then I'm looking at a race car that I kind of like, number 5 Kellogg's Terrier Larry. It's Terry Labonte from 1994 to around 2004, so it's a cool looking car. I kind of wish Kyle kind of Larson would have done that as a pro Hey guys, Corey the Joy here from Kansas Speedway. Just want to let you all know, stay okay. safe, stay healthy, and mask up. Mm -hmm. so. And we're here with one of my two favorite cars of all time, Jimmy Johnson and Jack Lawrence. So this is a 2006 car that Johnson drove for his first championship, I believe. The Little Chevy. And the 2016 one right there. It's not a final championship. Look at that. I like looking at this car. And this one. Just one. Hmm. This must have been the 1997 championship car, I believe. This one's sick too. So I'll make that on that thing. We'll be right back for more car scenes. One of the few things I can do during this virtual tour is touch the track surface, see? This is Phoenix Raceway, which is cool. It's a little different. Here's my home track, which is nice. Very nice. There's a cut place. Very neat, huh? So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.